This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. and with the holiday mood spread all over, the CBI today turned the heat on questioning A. Raja over the mother of all scams. After nine hours of a grilling session, Raja has spoken in Delhi that he cooperated with the CBI. A very good evening, I'm Divya and joining me tonight is our senior correspondent Peer Mohammed with the details of Raja's take with the CBI. It's a new C Friday tonight and before we get you all the news in detail and all that is up for Christmas in the city tomorrow, let's bring you the top national stories making headlines. And well, over to our top uh, story that uh, former Telecom Minister A. Raja today appeared before the CBI for questioning in the 2G Spectrum scam. And the news coming in now, Raja has spoken after nine hours of CBI raid saying he has cooperated with the CBI. Raja was summoned under the Criminal Procedure Code and he is likely to have been questioned at length on his connections with the corporate lobbyist Neera Radia, the former tribe boss Pradeep Bajal and the circumstances leading to the spectrum allocation. Raja had earlier said he will cooperate with the investigating agency and sources say he is unlikely to be arrested at the moment. And while with the AIDMK led opposition in the state gearing up to capitalize on the 2G spectrum scam in the running coming up to the assembly polls, the ruling DMK is on a damage control mode. Senior leaders, including T. R. Balu, the state law minister Durai Murugan, and union minister Jagat Ratchagan, will address public meetings across the state on what they call the truth about spectrum. DMK leaders say they would explain how Raja's policy in spectrum allotment has drastically brought down mobile phone tariffs. And in these meetings, they would also counter Jayalalitha's offensive by raising corruption charges against the chief of the opposition. And well, for more details on this, our senior correspondent Peer Mohamed now joins us live from our newsroom. Well, Peer, there has been a nine-hour grilling uh, by the CBI today. What does all this point to? Uh, yes, uh, the grilling of uh, A. Raja by the CBI has taken nine long hours, uh, which is a clear indication that the, C the CBI is after several uh, condemnations from the Supreme Court has taken it very seriously, also due to the opposition pressure. And the CBA's uh, grilling involves uh, quite a lot of questions according to sources in the CBI uh, because uh, there are several issues involved. Also, we have to look at the recent leakage of uh, uh, correspondence between Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and Ye Raja. Uh, uh, we have to put uh, that in context. In fact, uh, the opposition has been crying foul that the Prime Minister was not acting on it. Uh, and uh, they were uh, trying to point fingers at the Prime Minister, but a letter uh, recently uh, leaked to media, including the Hindu, uh, uh, it, which clearly points out uh, the letter written by the Prime Minister on 2nd of November 2007, in which he clearly asked Raja to ensure fairness and transparency in allocation of licenses to various players in the telecom market. So that is a clear indication that the Congress might say that we have nothing to do with this particular allocation and the decisions taken by Raja. Already Prime Minister has condemned him and asked him for an explanation, which is quite a long letter involving several issues in granting permissions to various players in the telecom market. Yes. Now, uh, Raja has uh, spoken out in Delhi after this uh, grilling session that he went through with the CBI today. Now, he has said uh, something that he has been saying all the while. Now, he's not said something new that he is cooperating with the procedure, he is cooperating with the CBI, but that he will come out clean. Now, that is what the entire DMK party is echoing as well. Now, but basically, this has come out as a huge embarrassment. We even heard the spokesperson say that this is a huge embarrassment for the DMK party itself, which is why campaigns of the truth about the Spectrum uh, scam has been uh, started starting from Karura. So, what can you share about that with us, Peer? Uh, 
Uh, in fact, uh, Chief Minister and DMK Chief Karnanadi had clearly said that uh, if Raja is proven guilty, we will throw him out of the party. And they, uh, you know, they cannot, uh, uh, you know, sustain this campaign, save Raja campaign, as uh, the opposition leader Jailalitha pointed out uh, clearly. This will boomerang on the DMK. They will try to uh, 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 put up a brave face for the time being. But if CBI names uh, Raja in the FIR after you know, grilling, the grilling uh, has taken nine hours and the grilling might continue uh, the, tomorrow also or tomorrow or some other day also. That is the indication we are getting because Ra Ra Raja has not got back to Chennai. He has gone back to his home in Delhi. So there is an indication that uh, the uh, grilling might uh, continue also. So that is a clear indication that uh, Raja is clearly in danger. And we have to wait and see how political developments unfold in the state and at the center. Right. Now, Pirna, this scam in particular has become uh, very significant ahead of the elections, which is just a few months away. So now, will, this, uh, survive, will the DMK and the Congress alliance survive this big scam? Uh, that we have to wait and see. If the DMK is willing to distance Raja and uh, suspend him from the party after, uh, in, just in case he is uh, uh, charge sheeted uh, or uh, no, FIR is uh, naming him, then the Congress-DMK relationship might sh survive. If the DMK is pr still putting up a brave face and tries to defend Raja, then uh, things might not be that easy in the political scenario. Right, Thanks very much indeed for joining us with all those details. Well, moving on now, yesterday she cut a Christmas cake in Kanyakumari and today she gave a spirited speech on the Merinam. AIA DMK Supremo Jaya Lalitha is already in election mode months ahead of the assembly elections. Her fiery speech on MGR's Memorial Day, which was literally a traffic stopper, was cheered lustily by her party workers. Her show of strength in Chennai is aimed at rattling the ruling DMK further, says our senior correspondent Peer Mohammed. Clearly, Jailalitha wanted the message delivered that she was on a comeback trail after the AIADMK rallies in Coimbatore, Tiruchi and Madurai. The one in Chennai was high voltage public speak. Firing her salvos at the DMK, she claimed to be lily white while the DMK was tainted with corruption. <laughs> In a change of strategy, Jaya drew up a long list of her party's achievements. Clearly, this is aimed at rebutting the rival DMK's new positive campaign listing its achievements over the last four and a half years. <laughs> In fact, Jailalitha seems to have prepared long and well for the forthcoming elections. It began with her offer of support to the Congress if they act on DMK's A Raja in the 2G spectrum scam. In rally after rally, she has set out to boost the morale of the party. Whether her strategy pays off will be known in a few months. In Chennai with Peer Mohammed, this is Bama Ravi for NDTV Hindu. And while there is plenty making news across the country, stay tuned for all that and more on the other side. Thank you.